If Google's the best company in the world, why do developers even quit? Free your body and your mind. Number one, you can't choose your own project. You can't just be like, hey man, I want to work on Inbox. I want to work on Google Sheets. I want to work on YouTube. I want to work on the cool stuff that people are doing with Python. Nah, it doesn't work like that, buddy. Somebody comes in, holds your hand, brings you into the company, shows you around, and then now they basically put you on the shelf and say, hey guy, you working at Google Cloud. Use anything at Google Cloud. Like nobody cares about that. Right? Or they'll put you at a project that you're like, wait, I don't even want to do this. You know what I mean? Like this programming language, I don't even want to work on this. I don't want to do Golang. I don't want to do whatever. You get what I'm saying? Whatever BS they're putting you to do. So most developers quit because of that, right? That's a big no-no. If you go into a company and you're like, man, this has to be the best company in the world, but you can't choose what team you want to work on, that's a big problem. Number two in Google almost everything has already been done like literally almost everything that you could think of some guy has already done it so most of the time you're either just maintaining it cleaning up old code or just doing debugging you got what I'm saying like oh there's an error on Google Analytics hey will you go fix that that's the things that you're gonna be working on it's not like fulfilling to be like oh man I'm working on this new application most of the time you know you're pretty much just maintaining somebody's code from like 10 years ago they barely do anything that's new at Google it's so safe there that you can't really make an impact I don't know about you but for me I like to take pride on like build this whole application. I build the, the whole back end from the ground up instead of like, hey man, I spent six months, you know, fixing the menus on, on YouTube. Wait, what? Number three, it's extremely hard for you to get promotions, okay? It's such a big process to get promoted in Google that it's kind of ridiculous. You could be working at Google at the same position for six, seven years and still never go up you know what I mean like it's a process of like upper management do they even like you or do they even know who you are like if they don't even know who you are like you're not drinking coffee with them you're not going to the lunch with them you're not going to Starbucks you're not coming back and be like hi hi Sean you know it's like you're not getting promoted buddy you could be there for 10 years and you're not getting promoted Right, so most developers quit because of that. Last one is basically you don't really have that much freedom at Google, right? And most of the companies at Silicon Valley, this happens in almost all of them. They're super left wing, right? I myself, I'm in the middle. I'm left wing, I'm right wing, I'm everything that you want to label me, right? I'm everything. But if you have ideas that are different than what everybody else is in there thinking, like hey man you're gonna stand out right you will get fired you share your personal opinions that somehow are a little bit different than everybody's you're getting fired like it's that quick it's not like oh yeah like we we appreciate uh, employees opinions and this this, and that no it's like a group collective and it's like okay if we all going left you have to go left look online Barely anybody that works at Google shares their opinions on anything because they're so scared that they're going to get fired, right? So a lot of times developers is like, man, I don't need this. Like, I'm a great engineer. I'm a great developer. I could work at anywhere. Like, I don't need to be censored. I don't need to be constrained in this small environment and I have to say everything that other people like and I have to follow what they want. Now, the biggest reason why every developer leaves Google is to start their own business, okay? A lot of people go into Google ahead and they like, man, as soon as I get there, I get that Google stamp, I'm set for life, right? Everybody knows I'm an experienced developer. Everybody knows I'm a great developer because Google gave me that stamp. Right? So now they just say, hey man, I'm smart. I don't need to be working for somebody. I could go out of my own way and build my own startup, build my own company, build my own product, something where I could be more hands on and not being stuck at Google Cloud, you know, at YouTube doing menus. You know, you can't add any new features to, to the website. You can't do this and that. Like, now it's my own company. Now I can actually do whatever the hell I want with my own company. 
Now I could speak out however I want. I could share my opinions on the internet. I could uh, be myself without having to be a robot. You got what I'm saying? So if you want to learn more about why people quit from Google, do a quick search on Quora and you're going to find it. Do a Google search and you're going to find it. You do a little YouTube search and you're going to find it. I seen this video from I think Jarvis, uh, some cool kid. He pretty much talked about all the points that I just said in his video. Make sure you check that out. I'm probably going to put it in the description. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Bow. This video is brought to you by CodingFace.com and all of its members. Make sure you go visit a website. It's the only place where you're going to learn how to become a web developer with real projects. Take it from me. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Keep it real. Keep it trill.